kids and cadets looking at this yard force again it's a 2018 got it from a scrapper for 35 i wanted to give 30 he wanted 40 we negotiated up the middle 35 and then realized after that this wheel is broken so i got to get another wheel but that's the least of our issues right now this thing would not drive so we looked at it together and tried to figure it out i thought maybe the belt was too loose i went up here and tried to take slack out of the cable I sent you to bed because I had put it down here and then I came back and thought, well, maybe it's the opposite way. Took all the slack off this way. No difference. And no, and no matter how I move the cable. So kind of did some poking online. Uh, another YouTuber said, make sure this spring is attached to the whole right there and it was but I removed this to, tr to try to turn the uh, pulley by hand and lo and behold there's no pulley there you can see the the shaft the belt was just around the um, shaft not doing anything I figured I'd remove the belt and look at it and then I came up here and noticed pulley's gone so I'm assuming it was a plastic or nylon pulley and just broke and fell off and um, ended up in the grass somewhere at the previous owners. So I was kind of messing around with this thing before I noticed the uh, pulley was gone. I put a lot of tension on the transmission to try to get it to engage and nothing so I believe the transmission shot, you can see how much play is in that shaft. I think the worm gear is stripped. So I think this is a, a total loss on the transmission. I don't know who makes these crappy things or if I can steal one off another machine. But I don't have any more yard force machines. This might be a one and done as far as their parts because the the wheel was only available through one supplier this eight inch wheel so this uh transmission may be an off off brand so we're dead in the water with this i'm not going to buy a pulley for that unit hasn't been tampered with because the um, pin here at the top has not been removed i thought maybe somebody was messing with this it just disintegrated and the um, belt's been polishing the shaft here and not engaging so she was just been running over that shaft so that's where we are. So this is going to go in the, um, I'll see what to do with it next pile. Maybe I'll get another machine with this type of transmission and I'll have to do a swap but kind of sucks. I spent 35 bucks. Only other option is it's got the largest size engine. I could remove the engine. And put this on something else. It's the uh, 675. So still up in the air on this. I'm sure if I go to the seller or the supplier, they're going to want 150 for a transmission or something ridiculous, which I'm not going to mess with buying a new transmission i could check ebay and see if there's any used ones that would be another option or just put this in the for future use pile hopefully come across one from a scrapper so this this project's dead in the water 
we're dead. Just kind of looking around at that quality. Anyway, so that's all I got for you. I'll put the um, model number of this YF22 in the description below. I did it on the first video. So I'll put all this stuff back together and um, push it out of my way so it doesn't aggravate me for the rest of the day. As always, tip your waitress and wait staff. I thought I'd give you an update on this thing. Let you know what I found out. Plastic pulley, no doubt. I should probably research that and, and see if it's got a nylon or plastic pulley on the top. I'm, I'm guessing plastic. A steel one or aluminum would not have disintegrated. They probably got cheap to save money. The plastic one cost three and a half cents. And it lasted a few years, so... They were happy, but the consumer is not going to be happy when they have a non-propelling machine. Have a good day today. Tip your waitress and wait staff. Thanks for coming out. Now you know yard force is totally garbage, except for the engine. The rest of it, you can have it.